Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to why the United States gets so many powerful tornadoes. And I mean, I used to do reactions to tornadoes and like hurricanes and all this sort of stuff, especially like in the US. But then I had some of the channels that I reacted to didn't like reactions to it. So obviously I couldn't react to a channel that doesn't want their content reacted to or whatever. And yeah, so I sort of stopped doing the weather related videos, but they've always fascinated me. And I don't know when the season is. I think it's just gone. Tornado season? is I don't, I don't actually know when it is but i know there's a specific time of the year i'm feeling like it's after summer like late autumn but i don't actually know i could be talking on my ass and i probably am maybe it's before summer i don't know i don't know at all to be honest but um if i was to guess it would be around christmas time wait there's not really a tornado season is there it's more, i'm thinking of hurricanes there's a hurricane season is there a tornado season as well i don't know but yeah, we're going to jump into this, hopefully going to enjoy. I've reacted to this channel a couple of times now and yes, yeah, I like it. I mean, it's a geography channel. It's the sort of stuff that I reacted to before and yeah, I've been enjoying the content. So as long as they're all right with me reacting to it and you want more reactions, I'll keep doing it. But yeah, links are in the description to my Patreon if you want to see some more of my reactions. Obviously, I've been ill recently, so I haven't posted, but there's a lot of reactions on there that you can find. And there's a lot of different stuff as well that I can't post to YouTube for whatever reason. But yeah, links are there for those who care for that. But if not, we'll just jump into this video. Tornadoes are one of the world's most fascinating natural phenomena. The perfect combination of weather events combines to create a literal spiral of wind and rain that connects the ground to the sky. But while every state gets tornadoes <gasps> to some degree, specific ones get them far more often. Here, so I know Oklahoma gets it big time. Is Oklahoma the one that gets hit harder than anywhere else? Here's why the United States gets so many tornadoes in a very specific region called Tornado Alley. Welcome to Geography by Jeff. Today we're going to talk about tornadoes, the twisting, twirling, whirling weather phenomenon that has fascinated civilizations for centuries. But while tornadoes are fascinating all by themselves, what's perhaps more interesting to me is that they occur specifically within a region of the United States at far higher degree of frequency than almost anywhere else in the world. And we're going to explore why that is in today's video. But first, before we get to today's episode, if you enjoy this channel, be sure to check out the podcast that I co-host with geography professor Hunter Shoby. Each week, Hunter and I take a look at a huge what-if question and look at it through the lens of geography. New episodes premiere every Wednesday, and you can listen right here on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Wow. Wet on his joint. Tornadoes are not as unique as they might first appear. Every single continent, aside from Antarctica, has had a tornado hit somewhere within it to some degree of strength within the last year. See, if I was to say two places that I feel like get hit hard the hardest, it's China and the US. I swear I only ever see in like compilation videos or whatever it is, just videos of this sort of stuff like weather events. The tornadoes only ever happen in China or the US. Which is so weird to me because like you got I mean obviously they will happen in other places too, but it's just these two places get hit differently man but that's not to say that all tornadoes are created equally or that all places get the same frequency of tornadoes across the planet there are roughly seven places where tornadoes happen most frequently in australia mostly along the eastern oh, wow. coast but sometimes along the west coast Didn't know that. in east asia primarily in the philippines japan and china around beijing in eastern india and bangladesh in southern africa within south africa lesotho and eswatini See, right now, you're seeing a lot of coastal areas. But it goes inland, very inland here in the US. Broadly all over Europe, including Ireland and the United Kingdom. Huh? I mean, we must get them very light then. I've not seen a tornado in my life. In South America, around Buenos Aires area of Argentina and Uruguay. And of course, the United States and Canada, basically everywhere. <laughs> Look at this land area, goddamn as well as northern Mexico. But while tornadoes are not uncommon in many parts of the world, the United States in particular stands out as being the country that gets the most tornadoes every year at a power that most other regions of the world rarely experience. But even within the United States, tornadoes are not distributed equally. Every single state in the US, including Puerto Rico and Washington DC, has had a tornado touch ground at some point between 1950 and 2021. 
And overall, during that time, over 67,000 tornadoes have hit the US. It's a lot, to be that fair. That would translate. It's not just down here. There's a, I mean, it's very, it's just this side of the US is just getting bombarded. To roughly 965 tornadoes hitting every single year. Wow. If we take only the last 20 years, that number increases to about 1,230 tornadoes every year. To put this number in perspective, Europe, which has a similar land area size, experiences about 700 tornadoes each year. That's still quite a lot of tornadoes, but the power of Europe's tornadoes is much lower. Yeah. Tornadoes are broken out on a scale of F0 to F6. This scale is used to determine the amount of damage any given tornado would be able to cause. So a tornado at a scale of F0 would have a wind speed of less than 72 miles per hour and would be expected to cause light damage. Maybe some small trees blown down, but not much else. And from there, it starts to ramp up. An F1 tornado would have wind speeds between 73 and 112 miles per hour and be expected to cause moderate damage. An F2 would have winds between 113 and 157 miles per hour and cause significant damage. And it goes to F6 and it's already at significant damage. An F3 would be between 158 and 206 miles per hour and cause significant damage. An How F4 between 207 and 260 miles With per hour speeds. and would cause devastating damage. An F5 between 261 and 318 miles per hour and cause incredible damage. And finally, an F6 would have wind speeds greater than 318 miles per hour. How many F6s have there been? Because I've, I've done reactions to like two tornadoes and some of them, like there was a few, I don't know, where did it happen? Did one happen in, oh, I don't want to say that. Isn't it where Deontay Wilder's from? He's from a place in like Alabama, I think. But I can't. I'm thinking in Tucson, but that's not in Alabama, is it? So he's. I think I swear he's from the town that it happened in, and it it was either there or another one I read to where the tornado was literally a mile wide, and like in the camera like lens, it looked ridiculous. And that to me is something that I can't really comprehend. But is that would that have been an F F six? I can't remember. And cause inconceivable damage. There have been no recorded F6 tornadoes anywhere in the modern history of tornadoes. Oh, with them. But there have been 67 F5 tornadoes recorded, of which 59 hit within the United States. And there's a reason for that. Tornadoes are an incredibly scary phenomenon. Even a relatively light tornado can be very damaging. And unfortunately for one area of the United States, tornadoes are far too often an occurrence. But before we get into why the US has so many tornadoes, if you're enjoying this video, hit that subscribe button. More fun geography videos are just a single click away. When we talk about the US getting a lot of tornadoes, we're not really talking about the United States as a whole. Really, we're talking about a very specific region called Tornado Alley. This is an area that largely encompasses the states of Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, and South Dakota, though the nickname is fairly nebulous and can incorporate more or less depending on who you ask. Regardless, these six states have received 37% of all recorded tornadoes within the United States. Damn. And this is due to a unique set of geographic circumstances that this region in particular has. You see, a tornado forms out of large thunderstorms. And inside those storms, warm, humid air rises while cool air falls. See, um, storms typically happen when it's been really warm, right? Like, say you've had a really hot few days or it's been really dry and then it sort of happens. That's how I thought it happened. Maybe not. So maybe it happens. In, maybe they're a lot more common in the summer then. I'd assume so. I was getting confused with tornadoes and, like, hurricanes and stuff. Along with cyclones. rain or hail, these conditions cause air currents to begin to spin around rapidly inside the cloud. From there, the spinning air currents can drop to the ground in the form of a tornado. And this region happens to get just the right ingredients to make this exact kind of storm happen often. Tornado Alley exists at the confluence of three geographic weather systems. Coming in from the north is a front of cold dry air from Canada. From the southwest is a gust of hot dry air from the Mojave Desert. And from the southeast is a heavy dose of warm moist air from the Gulf of Mexico. Just an absolute concoction for chaos. As these three combine, they create the exact circumstances that a tornado needs. And none of this would be possible were it not for the Rocky Mountains, Mojave Desert, and Gulf of Mexico being in the exact geographic positions as they are. No other region in the world has all three required ingredients to make a tornado as prominently as the United States. 
But while this region gets a lot of tornado Look at that tornadoes, one. as it turns out, it's actually one of the safer areas to live in with respect to regions with a high amount of tornado activity. Huh? Texas, for example, has approximately one third the average annual amount of deaths caused by tornadoes than Alabama despite Texas having many more tornadoes per year. And many bigger cities. Is it the infrastructure, maybe? What? Why? It's at this point that you might be thinking, if Tornado Alley gets the most tornadoes overall, then why does a state relatively far away have the deadliest record when it comes to tornadoes? Luckily, there's a geographic answer to this question as well. You see, Alabama and Mississippi still get quite a lot of tornadoes. Overall, these two states get about 7% of all tornadoes in the country. Not a huge amount necessarily, but still significant. They experience these storms for largely the same reasons as Tornado Alley, but less frequently. This is because the cold northern air from Canada does not reach as far south as often. But when a tornado does hit these two states, things get a little bit dicey. You see, there are three primary reasons why Alabama specifically has a much higher fatality rate when it comes to tornadoes. The first is that, as it turns out, most tornadoes that hit the southeast tend to be nocturnal tornadoes. Oh my days, that sounds horrifying. God damn. You're just sleeping and you just hear a tornado ripping through your neighbor's house. Like, what? This is because tornadoes tend to strike the southeast in the early springtime when there are fewer hours in the day. When a tornado hits at night, people tend to be less active, less aware, or even sleeping. And this creates issues when you need to get people into shelter quickly. The second reason is, quite simply, that the Southeast has more built up than the Great Plains states. As I covered in a previous video, there are relatively few people living in a large part of Tornado Alley. In Mississippi and oh, Alabama, how- Wait, really? Oh yeah, you do see that to be fair. There's barely any really like, there's a few to be fair, but there's not any massive cities that are there. Relatively few people living in a large part of Tornado Alley. In Mississippi and Alabama, however, far more development exists, which means when a tornado does hit those states, it's far more likely to hit an actual town or city than in the Great Plains. Finally, and similarly to the last reason, the natural geography of the Southeast also creates more hazards for when a tornado does inevitably hit. Alabama and Mississippi have more trees with which to throw around and cause more damage. Well and rolling hills are able to hide oncoming tornadoes in a way that they can't in the Great Plains. All of this combines to create an area that has fewer tornadoes, but with a far deadlier record than Tornado Alley. Tornadoes are truly an amazing spectacle. The raw power they emit make them one of Earth's most amazing geographic phenomenon. But while they're amazing to behold, they can also be incredibly destructive. I mean, yeah, they are one of those things, tornadoes, flipping volcanoes, just, just there are things on this planet that I just find so wild. But I do want to get into more reactions to this stuff. I don't know what I could react to and stuff, but I did. I did. It was one of those reactions I know people enjoyed me seeing and all that. But for me personally, it was just so fascinating to see this stuff. Because beforehand, before I'd done those reactions, I'd never looked into this stuff. I'd never looked into tornadoes. I never like seen videos of them and stuff. Obviously, you, you've seen. Like, I've seen some here and there, but like not specific ones that are what like well known through the history of the us and stuff but yeah if you want more of them let me know maybe it'll be become a thing where i'd have to react to them on my patreon because obviously i said i got strikes and then i had to take videos down and stuff like that because of the channels don't didn't want me to react to them so i mean yeah i would be up for them and if there's channels that you think i could react to them from then let me know because they are fascinating but yeah hopefully you enjoyed this reaction and stay safe out there but yeah until next time like subscribe and peace